So one of my favorites uh, helps me a lot. You know, it's called like uh, Macaulay Culkin, like the Home Alone. You know, we call it just the Home Alone because you're just like doing like the Home Alone kind of face. You know, you're just protecting yourself. You know, you, you're, you're protecting the exits. You know, they always we try to weave here, but they can't get past that exit. You know, we're blocking this space. You know, if I can keep my elbows tight, it's very hard for them to choke you. And so when they get deep, where like we're gonna go right now, when they get the body triangles. You gotta, it's the last 2% of jiu-jitsu right now, you know? So you gotta figure out how to prevent before you get events, you know? I can't just try to escape and I'm not doing any kind of prevention and next you know I'm getting submitted. So you gotta kind of stop there from moving forward and then you can start moving forward yourself. So what this looks like is I'm here, um, I wanna try to do all the different escapes that I was trying to do, but this time my, my partner stomps on my hip with their top side, yep, beautiful, and gets me here. I'm like, oh, this sucks, you know? So once I'm here, I'm fully body trying. I might not be able to do the other escapes this guy is a girl is really strong so I'm keeping my elbow tight I'm gonna focus on just flaring oh excuse me pummeling with his hand so I'm gonna pummel to the inside but when I do so since I'm taking away half of my control I got to make sure I'm even tighter with this wrist as I pummel so I'm here I'm gonna pummel to the inside and get that first home alone once I get this home alone what I'm gonna focus on is flaring my hand, you see that? It's like pulsing, like a heartbeat, you know? We're flaring, creating space between my face. And look, I can breathe all day here. If I have this tra uh, uh, a trap, I'm just here, like you're gonna just try to gas out and just try to choke me, that's fine. We're, we're gonna be safe here. So I'm using this to create space and so I can breathe. If I can breathe, I'm thinking more clearly. So once I'm here, I'm perfect. I'm gonna start going two on one again, bam. But now I'm not getting choked. Once I have this two on one, we're bringing it to the far side and is this almost very similar. We're gonna try to get our hips to the mat, but sometimes I feel like I'm trapped because they have this body triangle, you know? So I'm using this free hand to kind of pull on his knee, pull on the knee. You see, it's gonna release that pressure of this leg behind the knee. You see, like, they're here. This boot is what's keeping them attached. We're just trying to weaken that grip. That allows me to get my hips out now. Once my hips are out, we could do the hip heist if you want to and get the full guard, or we could just Go here, but what I like to do once I'm here, I know what they're gonna do planning ahead. I know they want mount, so what I've been doing as of late is getting an underhook. So if my partner comes on top of me, I can immediately get to reverse X or X guard and start working different entries for different kills. So that's just my Home Alone series. There's two different variations, you know, this, this variation when they have a body triangle and a more traditional kind of grip, you know? So we go over this one again. They're here, they're taking us to the top side, controlling our hands, getting a body triangle. We're tight here, look at, look how deep this elbow creases to my neck. We're getting almost submitted. So we gotta be careful. My only thing I like to do from here, just pummeling, look at this. My fingers can always get into that little space. If I go knuckles, it'll be hard, you know? I can always just, Almost like my fingers are doing like the worm or something, you know? I'm just here dancing, boom. Now once I'm here creating space, all about that space creation, that allows me to get better grip two on one and able to hurry up and bring that to the far side with that space. Once I'm here, I could try to limp leg here and get this underhook, beautiful. Sometimes that's hard, you know? So I could just pull on that knee and turn my hips too. Just play with both of those, you know? They have the body triangle. I get an underhook, you know, there's sometimes I, if I don't move my leg, you see, I can't do that. If I bring that leg to my face and I shoot it, it creates that space and now I have this underhook and now we're here. I'm safe for the most, they're not choking me, but they try to come up, we're creating distance, getting whatever grip you want. Like I said, we can always transfer to the back side 50-50 from that as well. The other variation, that people do with this back is get that Dan Severin, what we call it. So I try to do this escape. We're here, they chop my hip. Boom, I do, I'm doing the escape or pump me the tight. I'm here. Sometimes I'm here, I, it's, I feel like there's a lot of space here. I might be like, okay, I don't even wanna just go two on one. I might just pummel this all the way through and trap that arm. But sometimes once I do that, they somehow just get that arm out. Once that arm's out, you see I'm already looking at it. I'm already understanding that's the danger. So I'm already playing prevention, blocking that arm while I'm still controlling their bottom side hand. Once I'm here, two on one, hip, bringing it on the other side of my face. This is all this two on one grips. Once I bring it on the opposite of my face, 
bring my head and shoulders on the opposite side of the mat. Once on my opposite side of the mat, is the same game we've been playing. I could pull on that knee to escape, or we could start, you know, getting that underhook because we already know what they're gonna do. If they're staying down like this and they're not uh, hurry up and addressing what's going to happen, I could easily just uppercut and hip heist again. And now we're passing too. Now to another type of kill. You here, you can just go right for your triangles. Bam. Nice kills right there from side control. So again, that one. We're doing our hand fighting. As we're hand fighting, they switch. We go two on one, bring it to the opposite of the choking side. That's always the game, the same concept. Opposite of the choking side, head and shoulders on a mat, dealing with what situation arises. Boom, we're here, controlling that top side hip, body triangle, pumping through, creating space. Oh, I feel like there's a lot of space. I'm gonna bring my whole arm in and trap them. Once they're here, I'm somehow kind of loose with my elbow. They switch choking arms, but I block. So I don't want to get choked if I don't go. They're going to start choking me here. We don't want that. So I already blocked it so they didn't get that deep. Once I feel like that's blocked, I'm keeping my elbow tight because right now i got to let go of this wrist grip. So i got to keep this elbow tight so this arm stays intact as I get double wrist, pull into the opposite side. Now it's all about head and shoulder on the mat. Head and shoulder on the mat as I pull this arm across my body. Now once I'm here again, if it's tight, I can't get my hips out. Two options. Pulling or making this leg limp, creating that space, getting that underhook. Once I have that underhook again, if they don't come on top of me, trying to progress their position, they're like kind of stuck because I'm on their leg, we can just uppercut, hip heisting our legs and keep turning into my partner. Passing the side control, again, trapping, trapping that wrist, posturing up, and we have that nice triangle right away, right to that kill. Fast. Live motion. Now once we're here, whatever you guys want. Kills, or if you don't like this backside position, you have to always push on your elbow, control the knee, go for the kill. Now you're in a more traditional position, a little deeper. Last one. If you can get that through too. Oh. Us. 